the next uh, panel uh, is for North-South Corridor. Earlier on, we opened and with the same discussion, but focusing on a different uh, corridor. So now we are on the North-South Corridor. And the following railways uh, representatives will be called on stage. The first one is Botswana Railway. And the second one, it's uh, NRZ. Can you have the representative for NRZ? The third one, it's SNCC. Can we have the representative from SNCC? The, third, the fourth one is Trans Namib. Can we have the representative for Trans Namib? And the last one is Transnet Freight Rail. Can we have the representative for Transnet Freight Rail? Yeah, so <clears throat> The, the, the structure of the questions is the same as the earlier on one, but is the shift of a different corridor, as I have already mentioned. Uh, Hello? So, 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 welcome, panel. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, each two minutes to introduce yourself and the corridor that you are focusing on and a little bit integration from a north-south corridor point of view. Two minutes each. Ladies first. Uh, a very good morning, or is it afternoon? Um, my name is Kelesile Malili. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Botswana Railways. Um, the corridor that we are focusing on today is the North-South Corridor. As Botswana, we are a transit route for the North-South Corridor. We are, between Botswana, we are between Zimbabwe and South Africa. Thank you. Good, up, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jacob Chuonyere. I'm going to speak to the requirements for NRZ in terms of the North South Corridor. We are primarily a transit route for the traffic destined to the north from the ports in South Africa via Botswana and going to the north, that is Zambia, TRC, and CNCC. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is um, Solomon uh, Ramping. I'm working firstly for TFR, and um, I am responsible and accountable for the Central Corridor. You would have heard my colleague in the morning was talking about six corridors in TFR. One of them I am responsible for is the Central Corridor. This Central Corridor is based in the middle of uh, five, five corridors, and it provides connectivity and a transfer of critical commodities from the, end, from the exit to the entry and to the entry to the exit, and provides connectivity to Botswana to reach other northern situated SADC economies. Uh, je suis uh, le directeur général adjoint de la SNCC, Trésor Kapuku. I am Mr. Trésor Kapuku, the deputy CEO of the DRC Railway Company called SNCC. Dans le cadre de l'intégration dans le sud. In the frame of integration. La SNCC est membre de six corridors sur les 11 
de la SARA. SNCC is member of six corridors out of the 11 corridors which comprise Southern African Railway Association, SARA. Cela amène à ce que nous puissions travailler avec les différents co-transporteurs et exploitants des réseaux qui euh, desservent sur euh, Biera. Nous we are working with uh, different networks uh, which are servicing corridors Bay, Bay through Beira, Bait Bridge, by Dar es Salaam. Plum Tree. The Plum Tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Corridor Central. And, and enfin Lobito dernièrement. Central Corridor and finally Lobito Corridor. Cela représente pratiquement l'ensemble des pays de, du Sud. This represents practically the whole of Southern African countries. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, without any specific order, I'm going to look for the importance of partnership because you are a corridor. Why would you think this partnership is critical from your company perspective? I will start with the Botswana Railway. Um, thank you very much for the question. Uh, partnership is very important because we need to be collaborating and not competing. Um, it helps with a seamless transition. For example, when you look at our latest partnership with, it's a tripartite agreement between Mozambique, Botswana, and uh, Zimbabwe. Um, we, want, we, were, we want to um, open a new line, which is the Ponta, hey, I always embarrass myself when I try to pronounce this, Ponta Techubanini uh, railway line. Um, because it's a long-term project, the three member states decided to, in, to, in the meantime, look at rehabilitating the Limpopo, Limpopo and Beira corridor. It's a project that will take about eight, eight months. So this is, the, this is why it is important for us to collaborate because this um, rehabilitation will result to increased capacity and more efficient services from the three railway administrators. Thank you. While I'm moving to the next one, think about the requirements or the request that you will want your fellow railways to support you so that whatever that you are doing it now, you can even excel more. TFR, you seem to be a regional business integrator in terms of supporting your neighboring countries. What is it that you will require from them to improve the way how you are doing things currently? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chair, for the question. Um, as, as I have mentioned in my introduction, that um, uh, under Connect, I connect inside the um, Republic of South Africa as well as connected to uh, Botswana. We are exchanging trains uh, daily there. Uh, on, on lower level um, levels, uh, we, have, we have already established that, which uh, we all require. Uh, on operational uh, discussions on daily basis uh, at the interface level. Um, from the strategy point of view, um, since we are the railways and most of us, we uh, belong to the state and um, uh, there are expectations there. We carry our, with ourselves a developmental and a commercial character and it is not always easy for you to be able to navigate between the two. So it is always um, uh, inevit it's inevitable. You cannot achieve anything alone. All what we are looking for is the integration, the interface, the collaboration, and the partnerships to work together. Anyway, railway is a, is a system and process-driven um, 
uh, entity. You don't just press a button and the train departs, departs from uh, Bulawayo. Okay, thank you. SNCC, you are an integrator for Zambia, Angola, and the rest of African countries. What are the challenges that you are facing at the moment that limit you to do things beyond or extraordinary? What are the limitations and what are the things that you request your fellow countrymen here to help you to change the status quo? Merci en termes de défis. Thank you so much. In terms of uh, challenges, nous devons euh, améliorer notre capacité euh, de desserte. We want to improve our traction capacity. Pour euh, essayer de faciliter les, la participation de tous ceux qui in travaillent avec nous. In order to try to facilitate uh, the participation for everyone who is working with us. Mais aussi euh, essayer de lever les dysfonctionnements ou sinon les, les barrières qu'ils puissent avoir. And trying to put aside the bottlenecks. En termes de multiples transbordements. In terms of transshipment. Et là nous sommes en pour parler avec les différents réseaux sœurs. We are frères, in talks with different networks. Pour que euh, Du point de départ au point d'arrivée, il puisse so pas avoir d'obstacles. So that from departure to destination. Et cela va permettre à ce que euh, la circulation et le commerce puissent se faire euh, normalement et that rapidement. That will enable us to make move trains in a flow way, without any transshipment at any point. Cela permettra à ce que l'intégration puisse être and parfaite et totale. And this will total. enable the integration to be effective from point A up to point B. Okay. Thank you. Uh, NRZ, you are also a linker in Zambia, South Africa, and all the way to um, Lubumbash from a transport movement of goods point of view. What is your special request amongst your colleagues that you require that can change the way you are doing business at the moment? Thank you for the, for the question. As I indicated, we are a key transit corridor to the ports or traffics destined to the north. We are currently challenged in terms of rolling stock. Where capacity is required, mainly coming to the ports, we need support mainly from TFR. Looking at uh, the developments in the South African rail market, the rail safety regulator is operationally effective and they are upholding safety. They have fully implemented the SARA safety standards and our rolling stock because of maintenance challenges and lagged investment, they are not able to get into those markets. So we are losing traffic because of capacity issues. So we we pleading for support in terms of that, uh, so that we divert traffic back to ro to rail from from road. There is also opportunities in terms of investment that is required, but this time mainly from logistics. Service providers, 
from a strategic point of view to try and bring more traffic to rail. We have identified certain points within our rail network that we need to consolidate as traffic traffics for for the ports that is mainly dry ports in uh, our eastern for the traffics coming from the north we have identified the lion's den as a key point where a dry port can be uh, established also other points in rutenga a region to consolidate the traffics that will be coming within the continental uh, Zimbabwe and, uh, and uh, also traffic that may be coming from, from, from other points beyond Zimbabwe towards the, the, the ports. There is another critical factor where the customers are currently expressing displeasure in terms of flexibility of service where as an entity or as a rail sector, the turnaround for rates uh, 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 determination or rates advising is very slow and that is a critical uh, point where we also need to collaborate and uh, ensure that we improve the turnarounds in terms of rates. Some of the documents that we give to, to customers to fill or complete as they request for service, they are a bit more fo internal focused. They are talking to the railway men, yet customers are not railway people. We need to have that discussion so that we engage with the customer and improve in terms of uh, turnaround on rates request. Thank you for now. Thank you. Botswana Railway, your key product is mainly fuel and the container business in terms of moving and supporting the gap corn. From a business development or new business point of view, what are those and what will be your special request from your counterpart, which is TFR, to make sure that those opportunities are implemented successfully. Okay. Um, our major <coughs> request from TFR, from both TFR and um, probably NRZ, uh, would be firstly, um, would like our trains to move, to go beyond Mafikeng, uh, Brussels. And from the NRZ side, we'd like our trains to go up to Chikwala Kuala. Uh, that would improve our turnaround times. Um, I think the other thing that was, it was discussed this morning in terms of uh, having uh, or standardizing the system that we use. And then the other thing that would also request is flexibility in terms of pricing. Um, I'll give an example. We had um, a new customer who wanted to move coal via the Limpopo route. Our prices, because the price of coal has gone down, our prices were too high. We tried to meet as uh, CFM, um, NRZ, and BR, but we couldn't reduce our prices. But what we sh could, we should be thinking, we should be thinking outside the box, and maybe allowing ourselves to maybe make a little bit of a loss, but then tie the price to the increase in coal prices, so that when prices of coal go up, then we then we are able to recover our money. Thank you. Thank you, SNCC. Uh, what are the new business opportunities that are coming from your side, uh, DRC, be it a mining product that you will be pushing to your neighboring countries? Can you share with your partners here if there are such opportunities? En termes de d'opportunités d'affaires. Talking about business opportunities. Tout le monde est informé que le Congo c'est. Everybody le, is informed that DRC. C'est un géant minier. It is a mining giant. 
et qu'aujourd'hui tous les focus est sur Today, la production minière. All the focus is on the mining production. Cela veut dire qu'il faudra des, des intrants pour, we have, we need to get mining, pour pousser la production. Mining inputs in order to et, improve, uh, production. et ces intrants viennent la plupart en termes de charbon, de soufre. And those, uh, mining inputs in terms of coal they, and sulfur. Ils viennent des pays euh, environnants et du sud. From, uh, the et du carburant. And the fuel. Qui viennent de, de, de tous les pays voisins. Which come from all the neighboring countries. Ou passent par là. Who, which are passing through DRC. Au-delà de tout cela, il y a les différents ports. Beyond qui, uh, all that, we have got a different ports. Qui réceptionnent uh, les... Which les matériels de production, equipment pro, for the production, canalisés vers euh, which are channels, les sites de production, towards production sites. Et à partir de là, From il y a there, aussi la production qui doit être évacuée pour We être have also products which are being produced which must be evacuated. Au regard de la position de la, de la SNCC en termes de Considering the position of SNCC as a network la SNCC, SNCC bénéficie vers le sud is benefiting from de, southern africa à partir de Kolwezi jusqu'à Sakanya from, from Kolwezi up to Sakanya which is the border station towards Zambia seulement de 492 km we have got 492 km alors que les autres, Why? la Zambie par exemple, la, la ZRL, Other, uh, like Zambia, sur, les, sur l'exportation, bénéficient de, de 880 km. They are benefiting on 880 km. La NRZ et The BBR, NRZ and BBR, pour le même tronçon, bénéficient de 800 km. They have got uh, almost 800 kilometers. La TFR bénéficie de 1300 TFR, kilometers. it is 1.300. Sur l'axe Lobito. On the Lobito side. La SNCC ne S- bénéficie que de 420 kilometers. SNCC is benefiting from only 420 kilometers. Alors que euh, CFB et la Why? de l'Angola bénéficient de... 1344 km. CFB, l'Angola, est 1433. Cela est un élément fort de partage de la richesse et de la prospérité okay. à partir de la SNCC. From SNCC. Thank you. Uh, moving towards closing, there is an issue of turnaround of wagons from one country to another. One of the challenges is once you move your wagons from TFR, goes to Lubumbasha or goes to Zambia, it is out of your control as a forwarding country. How do we balance the relationship between you as the railway and the receiving customers? And what is it that we can do to improve that relationship so that each railway doesn't suffer from the work on turnaround point of view? We will start with Brasol. Are you happy if your work on are not being turned around on time. And what is your special request amongst the colleagues to improve on that? Um, Let me start uh, first by um, responding to my PR colleague. Take it as granted your request. Soon you'll see an orange one in Lobaze and uh, I I am ready to, uh, uh, to admit the blue one. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, turn around. Uh, 
this is in the north-south corridor uh, uh, stand. You, I am dead sure, I'm aware what the voice of the customer says. And uh, on the list of the voice of the customers, it's sitting on top, turn around the buses. They take long. Um, and uh, what uh, my colleague has mentioned, uh, uh, lack of capacity, resources shortage of wagons, shortage of uh, uh, locals. Uh, my colleague from BR spoke about the high uh, rail tariffs. And last one being the customer engagement. However, coming to your question about long turnaround time, my special request to colleagues is um, let's not, uh, because we don't have um, uh, this and that resources, the very same resources that we have, we need to make them sweat. That is the reason for our existence. Um, uh, sometimes they take long, all because of um, uh, us as human beings. We must just take, uh, uh, bring some agility into the system and um, make them uh, perform better. A day or two in the current work on turnaround time. It's huge in, supply, uh, in the supply logistic chain. So we are having those discussions with them. And um, since the discussions have started, I have seen um, uh, uh, improvement uh, we are even having uh, a market share numbers having turned around between ourselves and uh, Botswana, where you are having, uh, we have had 30% of the market share, uh, the road had 70%, things have turned around. We have taken the 70, 30 is on the road. And um, I still believe there is still more before we even put an extra resource there with the current resources that we have. Let's sweat them. Thank you. Uh, NRZ, safety of the products from a customer perspective, how important it is while it's on transit, on transit from your point of view? Th thank you for the question. Uh, it is it's important to note that uh, the customer makes money from the product delivered. And uh, from that perspective, safety and security are key. It is regrettable that uh, from a safety point of view, you will notice the infrastructure is maintenance backlog. That maintenance backlog in the interest of safety because safety takes precedence among, against all other issues. We have then to impose speed restrictions to try and ensure safety, the cargo is delivered, is safe. The impact of speed restrictions is multi aged. It has got impa it impacts on asset utilization. We need more resources, which I was saying they are not there. It exposes the same cargo to more risk for pilferage theft, which translates into heavy investment in terms of security to ensure that cargo gets to destination intact. But it's critical we are investing in technology to try and ensure safety. And it is an opportunity which is there in terms of funding uh, institutions to come and provide or engineer in terms of financial resources. Because the market is there, means it is critical at this opportun opportunity for investors to tap into that structure certain financial mechanisms, project finance related, to try and reboot, rehabilitate that infrastructure to enhance safety. 
it is important also to point out that if we don't invest in rail, we are worsening our situation as a continent. I am aware that the inter-Africa trade, uh, we need to boost that, but if we are not uh, playing ball as uh, rail on surface transport mode, we continue to expose the continent and uh, the development will continue to suffer. Thank you. SNCC, in closing, what will be your recommendation to your fellow colleagues here to improve the delay on the border crossing? Those delays which are being encountered on different border posts are necessarily due mostly the time to the plurality of uh, road oliers. Qui nous font concurrence, nous, who, are also, who are competing to, with uh, railway companies. Et là, je pense que uh, I nous think that nous souder, we must put our efforts together comme, uh, de fer, as railway companies sur les différents axes, on the different axes et travailler dans de telle sorte que les Les différentes formalités puissent and the work être traitées en termes de, gui de guichets uniques au so départ comme à l'arrivée, vice versa. All formalities be dealt with in terms of one stop shop from departure up to the arrival section. Cela nous permettrait and de, this will enable us de lutter contre, de faire face à la concurrence des routiers. To face that road competition we are facing nowadays which to date nous arrache pratiquement près de 80% taking almost 80% of the traffic which we could move by rail alors que nous sommes les les spécialistes while we are specialists des grandes capacités of moving big volumes of traffic et les laisser faire c'est contribuer à la destruction des infrastructures leaving those road oliers doing as they are doing is really contributing to the deterioration of our roads. Alors que les performances des, des right? réseaux ferroviaires performances of railway companies offriraient à nos différents réseaux et could populations benefit to our different networks ainsi qu'à nos pays uh, as well as to our countries non seulement les mouvements des grandes charges not only the movement the evacuation of big volumes Mais aussi la préservation but also the preservation infrastructures qui coûtent cher. The, no, our infrastructure which are very expensive. Et pour cela, la SNCC and for that, SNCC exhorterait tous les réseaux frais makes an appeal to all our colleagues railway companies à intensifier les échanges en termes de bilatéral to strengthen bilateral exchanges among us Pour que ensemble on puisse so that together détecter tout ce qui gêne can detect all those bottlenecks et accélérer les solutions accelerate solutions to find to them pour rendre Thank le trafic beaucoup plus fluide to make our traffic move in a seamless way thank you merci uh, Botswana railway in closing what is your special request to your colleagues. Thank you for the question. I think um, I have talked about my special request and uh, Brasol here has offered, um, <laughs> has already responded to it. But also I think we should work together more. We should collaborate more, um, especially with my neighbors uh, being um, Zimbabwe and 
uh, Transnet. We're already working on several projects together. Um, with uh, Transnet, we're already working on, we're also working on the Mamba Bulele Palala Railway project. With the NRZ, um, we, I did talk about the Ponte Tochipanini uh, railway line. So we should continue working together and collaborating more. Thank you. In closing, one minute. What is the special request from your colleagues? One minute. Th thank you. As the railway operators, we need to enhance collaboration. We are complementing each other. The customers need us in the logistic value chain to move the traffic safely, swiftly to destination. We need then in that more in that context to prioritize the customer, improve communication, and also integrate the planning process so that we eliminate unnecessary delays at inter interchange points. Thanks. Prasol, one minute. OK. Um, to my colleagues, Investment is galore. There's a lot of um, uh, 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 financial and funding support out there. All what we need to do is to have a selling story. And we need to do that as quick as possible. Thanks. Thanks. OK, just to summarize, uh, we all agreed that it is important to have a partnership, collaboration, teamwork, cross-functional team. Number two, it is important to share the skills amongst us within our corridor. Lastly, you also agree that you will be sharing futuristic business development and it will be a free information for all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and all the contribution that we have done. It must not end here. The relationship must continue. Thank you, colleagues.